Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beast here. We want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is Ghost and DMAC. When it comes down to it, there's a lot of similarities between the two. Um, and Tommy even said this in season one of Power of Book Four Force, when he said, I used to know a kid like you that used to keep their face in a book, very good with numbers, very good with math, very intelligent, and very quiet. And DMAC said, huh, I wonder where that kid is um, now. And Tommy said, well, he's dead. He was part of this game the same way I was. Now, some people thought he was referencing Tariq and saying that Tariq was dead to him but no he was talking about ghosts because the same thing Tommy said um about um DMAC he was referring to Tasha said the same thing about ghosts too Tasha's words about ghosts was that he always kept his face in a book he always was about his numbers very intelligent very business oriented and kept himself that way so it lines up with who ghost used to be and so there's that comparison between the two the only difference between dmac and ghost is that where ghost came from a life as far as i know of love though his dad was you know had a bar in a club ghost was surrounded with that type of lifestyle so he was surrounded with people that was probably doing everything we're talking about maybe some number running some drug dealing and hustling but his father made sure he didn't get a part of that life however with dmac dmac was looking for his father and apparently came from an abusive background with his mom where she didn't really care about him but hated him and didn't really want him around his father just out of spite so when it comes down to it with dmac and ghost the comparisons are pretty strong he has all the potential in the world but the only thing he really wants to do is become a savage and become a gangster on the street saying this is the only life he knows and he feels very conflicted where a family that he recently met and has been recently welcomed by is trying to control him so when it comes down to it with dmac if you can't stop him and if you can't keep him away from the streets better to take him under your wing and train him the thing is with Tariq is that Tariq was a privileged kid and trying to be in the streets dmac is someone who actually is from the streets and he has opportunities and a family that cares for him that's trying to keep him away from it and he doesn't want to do it because he feels as though they're trying to change him he's looking at like look i just met y'all i've been doing this stuff and when it comes down to it i'm gonna do what i want to do and you can't control me the thing is though is that he's currently in danger because now he's being offered up as a, a piece on the behalf of cbi to keep the peace with their rivals and that's a tough situation because at the end of the day i don't really see diamond trying to serve dmac up when dmac was the one who got revenge for what happened to the kid that diamond was training a kid that was very smart intelligent and political and was standing up for himself and simply the kid just wanted to shoot him because he beat the kid in a fight so when it comes down to it i don't see diamond betraying dmac i hope he does it but jenard on the other hand could definitely do it but i don't think cbi is going to really bend over for anybody just because that they want dmac gone and dmac has a good habit of hiding and getting away and no one really fighting him but we will see how everything plays out in regards to that because season two of book four force ended on a note that keeps me interested and want to know what's going to happen next and i like it so we will see but i just want to say to all of you that it is your boy bobby beast here i just want to say much love much respect hold it down and whoa.